<laughs> as you can hear <laughs> these are the um, plastic clips that I was talking about before they go through the rail here and then they run through so I think it's like six on each side or five on one six on the other but I'll evenly space that out so it's a lot better than what it is because this gap should actually be a bit smaller so I um, <clears throat> I can actually pull more line through there as you can see the knot near my finger so I uh, can reduce the size of this nonsense that's going on but uh, yeah these clips are uh, corroded and fucked um, and uh, they need replacing on both sides as you can see if I hop through here and then this one here see it's broken off this is half and half so then these ones are about to go as you can see there there's a split right there as you can see and uh, you know some of these are going to go there they're all about to fucking go actually <laughs> but um yeah i've replaced all of these plastic shitty clips with metal ones they're all fucking random and these are the uh plastic clap shit ones that i was telling you about but i can't get access to this and same as on the other side of the windlass so it's um uh, I have to take the whole fucking unit off just to be able to do that and uh, that's obviously extremely easy to do as you can see um, so and then I need to finish reinforcing these clips here because as you can see I've, I've put, added some metal clips on stainless steel clips which is a bit overkill as a lot of people have said but uh, and ex an expensive way to do it but it's a better system I think personally because plastic doesn't seem to like salt water and sun once again so um yeah it's uh it's one of those things but it's not too bad but as you can see he's tied all these lashings and shit and it's just a fucking mess it was really bad i mean really fucking bad he just added rope added rope added rope added rope just to reinforce um uh the trampoline instead of actually just you know what well, I was just about to say a normal human being, but what I would do is uh, replace all the fucking lines because then you know it's safe, it works, and it's okay, you know? But uh, these are rubber ones here. They're original with the boat. These are fucking solid. They're not going anywhere for about a thousand years. I think they'll outlast, outlast the fucking boat. But, um, yeah, these are really good, so they're not budging for shit. So what I've done there with reinforcing all the way along is going to be an added bonus with this too. So the only place that is likely to fail is going to be um, the bow of the boat here, where the clips are, the where they they would snap. But you know, if they snap, it doesn't matter because it's already got reinforcement everywhere else. So you'll be able to do backflips and shit on this soon. So um, I need to come up with a different system with my um, uh, furlex here. It's going along and in here onto the winch handle but I have originally it didn't go through this link here it actually just went straight across and I was just like I don't like that so I put it into that link and then into there um, and it works fine um, and then I added the uh, I'll see if I can get closer here so you can have a better look this broke because Luca broke it because he kept resting his fucking legs on here and I kept telling him not to so I had to renew this um, which is like a obviously a guide for this and then this is a safety guide that I uh, adjusted and altered because it was once again dog shit so um, you know if this breaks then at least it's going to be held by this one um, to a bit so it might move slightly but it's so it's got a bit of give but it's not going to boom, fucking gone you know um, so that's a good system there and I've added some extra locks onto the anchor here <laughs> as you can see so um, yeah so it works actually really well what I'm doing here to be honest uh, yeah I need to sort this shit out I added some more locks onto these because they weren't working but yeah that's my anchor bay new and improved in a way not finished yet I need to add the chain but I want to clean up all the rust and shit in here first um, that's my old chain there's only probably about five or three meters of it now on there it's just holding temporarily um, but I got 30 meters of chain in uh, down below. Oh, yeah, this is the plastic I was telling you about that I'm gonna add over the vent That's it. It's fiberglass. So it should work really well actually for what I want to do um, This is the warp. So I'm gonna probably use that as a bridle to be honest I'm gonna use it for different things to be fair because it's actually chafed and fucked in places So I need to alter that I gave gave away to my my other anchor to uh, 
Blackfoot number two, or the original Blackfoot, I'd say. He's much cleaner than the other Blackfoot. But yeah, that's my other anchor there, underneath all that shitty line, um, which is plastic. It's a, it's okay line, actually, but I don't like plastic line. It's just fucking... I just don't like it. Um, doesn't like sun and all of that again. It's funny this, isn't it? It's always the same fucking reoccurring pattern. Doesn't like sun, doesn't like water, doesn't like anything. But yeah, this is um, the same anchor that's on the front. I'll see if I can just sort this out, because I have to hold this up, unfortunately, because I haven't moved. Yeah, but there we go. That's the sort of anchor that's on my boat. I have two of these, and I don't like them. I don't like them, but they're very French, that's for sure. So they're for people that don't leave their home, their house on land. That's what they're for. They're really good anchors for that. Um, yeah, I've got to, yeah, sort of vent out. Over there, there's another one, and then there's another two here, and uh, and they're the same sort of vents that are on the boat. They are pretty fucking good, actually. Um, yeah, I need to get a four rails to go across here to here, and then here to here, and then here to here, here to here, similar to where the solar panel is, because then I want to put my new solar panels in because they are just too short to uh, go on the um, stern of the boat on this bar, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to get some kind of reinforcement for that. And yeah, that's about it really. Oh yeah, I was looking in where to put my radar reflector in the rigging and I've decided to put it right on this, below the waterline. No, I'm going to put it right above here. So, you know, the higher the better really. So it doesn't have any interference with the sails or when your sails are wet because then other boats can't actually see you. Um, so I'm going to raise it up here. So I've been figuring out a way of how to do that. So I've decided that I'm going to attach it to the halyard, which is there now because I removed it from the sail because it was annoying me and I tied it out, but it was just pissing me off. So I've moved it all the way out. It's there. So I'll attach that to the radar reflector once it's clipped onto this rail then I will attach a string line with a kind of slip knot so it actually falls out once I get it into the position. Um, once I raise it up with a halyard, I get it to the desired wherever the fuck I want to, and then I uh, pull the slip knot out of the string that's attaching the halyard to the um, uh, uh, radar reflector, and then the uh, halyard should come loose, and yeah, and then the radar reflector stays where it is, and then the string falls. That's that's my theory on how it should work. Um, it sound, probably sounds like nonsense to all of you, but uh, trust me, I think that that will work. Yes. And I'm quite good at this guesstimation bullshit. So, uh, I haven't failed yet. So, this... Yeah, I've tied it up on my lines, as you can see. Although it probably look like dog shit, but it's the best I can do right now with what I've got to do. Um, do, 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 do. And yeah, that's my poo bucket. Yeah. So uh, yeah, everything's all good. I still need to clean the hole, but things keep growing so fast, and I've been jumping in, cleaning, and doing what I can, and it's fucking filthy. In less than a week, a few days, it just covered in shit again, everything. So, um, I'm not too sure what to do about that. I might wait till I'm about to leave, and then jump in, and then scrape the shit out of everything, and then uh, leave like that, otherwise I'll be forever jumping in the water all the fucking time, cleaning shit, and I'd I would rather not do that. Oh. I'll show you this, I see the passerelle. I forgot to show you this. This is the passerelle. It's cool as fuck. It just needs the wood renewing, which is going to be extremely difficult. Not. Um, and uh, I've just tightened it up here so it doesn't bang around because he had it lifted up and resting on the fucking furlex when I came to view this boat. So the way he left it was so it was breaking everything. That, with everything. That's all I found. It was just breaking everything on the boat. So I put it back where it should be, which is here. And then uh, did my own lashings just to make sure it's secure and, and, tight, and tidied it up here as well. Because this bit here, this line you can see, that uh, um, you actually lower it out to then you can bring bring it back in. So it works really fucking smartly and it's on this sort of hinge here. Very well made, as you can see. So I've got my own little gangway plank thing here so I can actually chuck people off the boat if I really don't want to, in a very smart and proper manner. So, um, yeah, the kayak. Yeah, this thing's fucking cool as fuck. I love it. It's really cool. Very good gift from Rome. Very good gift. So I just need to paint it and then uh, 
match it to the boat and jobs are good and oh yeah these are all this is all my gear there's loads of other stuff hidden away but yeah all my gear tools and equipment and stuff bits and bobs wire and things battery cases i bought i need to fill these jerry cans my bolt cutters uh, the fucking 30 meters of chain, two batteries, you know, and all this shit in here, inverters and fucking wiring and fucking Windex and shit. Yeah, this is what I've got because I'm getting rid of my other one that's uh, fucked at the top of the mast. But I got this because it's better. Just go back old school and uh, just fucking get it all sorted. But yeah, I got all of this crap. Corona mask. Never worn. <laughs> Acetone. Yeah, and um, that's it really. Stuff so I'm just collecting crap and then I'm gonna get ready to uh, just get this boat kind of ship shape to a degree and then I'm fucking leaving and then I'm going to uh, yeah get the fuck out of here get the dodge out Roger and uh, fix the boat as I'm sailing down to the Canaries and then yeah things will be better as soon as I leave yep.